Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we just want to bless your name. We want to thank you once again for another edition of another Zoom fire conference of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We thank you for the success of the past editions of this program. Thank you for this special edition for the year 2021. I set our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto you, we commit this very session. Almighty Father, please, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree. Amen and amen. First and foremost, I want to thank the Almighty God for giving us this opportunity to minister in this very special program, the Northern Zone Fire Conference 2021 edition. And I want to appreciate my parents in the Lord, both Daddy and Mommy Gio, for this rare opportunity to be a blessing on this very platform. And I pray that Daddy and Mommy the Lord Almighty will continue to uphold you and yours in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to appreciate and that in the Lord, our intercontinental prayer coordinator for RCCG, Pastor Lawale, for this great opportunity to be a blessing to humanity in this very program. And I want to appreciate every leader in the National Prayer Department. I want to especially appreciate our pastor, the coordinator for the Northern Zone. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The topic before us today is, Oh God, do not be silent on us. May somebody pray and say, Oh God, do not be silent on me. I pray for you today that the Almighty God will not be silent on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Even today, as we meet to pray to God in this fire conference, I pray that the Almighty God will answer us, He will choose to answer us, and He will not be silent on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our test is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 83, I will read verses 1 to 4. Psalm 83, 1 to 4, I read, Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a torment, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against their hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. I pray today that this intent of the enemy to cut us off will never see the light of the day in a nation Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, do not be silent on us. It is a very dangerous thing for God to be silent on individual, on family, a group of people, and then on the nation. It can be highly disastrous. When God decides to be silent on somebody, we have an example in the Bible, in the life of Saul, when God decided to be silent on him, he called on God and God refused to answer. I pray for somebody today. That thing you will do that we make God to be silent. When you call on him and he will refuse to answer you, may you never do it in the mighty name of Jesus. When God decided to be silent on Saul, two things happened that led to his final destruction. Number one, he had to visit a medium. Yes, he consulted 
a wish. He consulted somebody with familiar spirits. I pray for you today. There will not be any occasion that will arise in your life or in my life that will make us to go back and be consulting the spirit of familiar spirit or that of the wish, wishes of wizard for solution in the mighty name of Jesus. May we never witness any situation that will make us to, go, to leave God and be consulting wishes and wizard for solution in the mighty name of Jesus. In First Samuel 27, we can see that there. We can see that our soul decided to go and consult a medium, the person with familiar spirits. Now, let us see the results of his consultation. As I read First Samuel chapter 28, verse 15. First Samuel 28, 15. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answer him, answered me no more. God will not depart from you in the name of Jesus. Saul so said, God has departed from him, and answered him no more. That is, God was silent on him. He said, Neither by a prophet, not by dream. Therefore, I have called thee, that thou mayest make know unto me what I shall do. I pray today that God will not reject us in the name of Jesus. The second repercussion is that both Saul and his children died a shameful death the same day. The same day. First Samuel chapter 31 verse 6. First Samuel 31 6. So Saul died, and his three sons, and his armor bearer, and all his men that same day together. We can see the danger of God being silent on individual or a nation or a country. It can be disastrous. When God decided to be silent on Saul, Saul and his children and his men of war died the same day. I pray that God will never, never disown us, reject us, or be silent on us in the name of Jesus. You better say a louder amen. Oh God, don't be silent on us means the following. It can mean, oh God, don't reject us. I pray for you today. God will not reject you in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, don't neglect us. I pray for you today. God will never neglect you in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, don't forsake us. I pray that the Almighty God will never forsake you in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, don't abandon us. I pray that God will never abandon us individually or as a nation, Nigeria as a nation, in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, don't close your eyes against us. I pray that God will never, never close his eyes against us in the name of Jesus. Anytime, any day, we ask him anything, he will respond by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, don't be silent on us. Can also mean, oh God, hear us. I pray today, as we pray in this fire conference, God, we hear us in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, answer us. I pray today, as we pray in this conference, God, we answer us in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, help us. I pray, as we pray today in this conference, it will help us in the name of Jesus. In Nigeria, it will help us. In the old world, it will help us. You better say it louder, amen. It can mean, oh God, fight for us. I pray today that Almighty God will fight for us individually and as a nation in the name of Jesus. It can mean, oh God, remember us. I pray today that Almighty God will remember us in the name of Jesus. Of course, it can mean, oh God, forgive us. 
may God forgive us of iniquity in the name of Jesus. You better say a louder amen. Now, this is fire conference. We are here to cry, to pray unto God. But brethren, do you know that God can decide to accept or to reject our sacrifice because our prayer is a spiritual sacrifice. We can remember the case of Abel and K. Our God accepted the sacrifice of Abel and rejected the sacrifice of K. If some things are not put in place by us, God may decide to reject our prayer sacrifice because prayer is a spiritual sacrifice. Now, we are going to look at some things that can make God to hear us. Failure to observe those things can make God not to answer us or can make God to be silent on us. May God never be silent on us in the name of Jesus. Now, let us go to the book of Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. I read, If my people which shall call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. These are the conditions for God not to be silent on us. These are the conditions that we must meet if you want God to answer us in this particular conference. I will just look at it quickly. Number one, we need to humble ourselves. We need to humble ourselves. Many of us do not humble ourselves in the place of prayer. When we get to the place of prayer, we try to showcase our righteousness before God. No. We have another example in Luke 18, 10 to 14. Luke 18, 10 to 14. Of two people that went to pray in the temple. The Pharisee, of course, and that one, the, the publican. The publican. The Pharisee got to the place of prayer and then he was just showcasing his righteousness. But then, for the, uh, the publican, he opened himself before God and he cried to God. And what was the result? God was silent on the prayer of the Pharisee. Of course, he answered the prayer of the, of the publican. Now, listen to me, people of God. When you want God to answer you, if you want God not to be silent on you, when you get to the place of prayer, humble yourself. Let us humble ourselves. Do not showcase your righteousness before God, your service before God. No, try to humble yourself. The grace to humble ourselves may we receive today in the mighty name of Jesus. Humility before God, we make God to confess our sins and our iniquity before God. And when we do this one, if we are, if we hear us, and if we answer us. Number two, he say, if we can pray, we need to pray. God does not listen to our complaint. He, did not, he does not listen to our argument. No, he does not listen to our accusation. He does not listen to our murmuring. Only thing that God listens to is our prayer. So you want God to answer you. You don't want God to be silent on you. You need to open your mouth and pray. If you are murmuring, if you are complaining, God will be silent on you. As you can see in Matthew 7:7, 7, 7, Matthew 7:7, 7, 7, he says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Number three, he says, if we can seek his face, if we can seek his face, not to seek the face of human beings, not to seek the face of any man or any, any person, any governor, any president, for a solution to our problem, but then to seek the face of God, to see the face of God and not the face of man. 
many of us we try to seek the face of man in the time of need that is why god will choose to remain silent unto us in jeremiah 75 jeremiah 75 he said thus said the lord cause be the man that trusted the man and make a flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the lord can we see even god had to place a cause on any man that look up unto another man for help and knock unto god now number four he said if they can turn from their wicked ways this is an absolute call for repentance for repentance when you want god not to be silent on you and you get to the place of prayer the first thing is we have to repent we have to repent of our sinful ways we have to repent of our manlies we have to repent of how we used to defraud god by refusing to pay our tithe and offering we have to repent for many things i pray today that the grace to repent in place of prayer may we receive today in the mighty name of jesus in that of our positive chapter 3 verse 19 at 319 say repent ye therefore and be converted that your sin may be blotted out and then when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the lord when we get to the place of prayer and we repent what follows is that god himself will bring to us a time of refreshing a time of refreshing is a time of peace a time of restoration a time of celebration a time that god will answer our prayer may god bring a time of refreshing upon us all in the name of jesus now when all these conditions are met he said i will not hear them from heaven he said i will hear them from heaven when we humble ourselves when we pray when we seek his face and when we turn from our wicked ways he said he will not hear us from heaven now we want to pray we want to pray and i know that as we pray god has promised that he will hear us from heaven and he will hear us truly in the mighty name of jesus we pray loud and clear in the name of jesus as i lead you in this prayer session prayer number one shout in the name of jesus and then continue to thank god thank him for his mercy that sustained us in this program for the past years let us thank god for his mercy that has brought us to this level in this program the another soon fire conference let us thank god for his mercy over you and over our nation nigeria in the name of jesus now let us ask god to forgive our past and our present iniquities in nigeria let us pray oh god forgive our past and our present iniquities in nigeria as a nation we need your mercy but then our iniquity is is much lord god almighty god forgive us in the name of jesus prayer number three let us ask god not to be silent on us as individual as families and as a nation oh god don't be silent on us as individual as a family and as a nation in the name of jesus oh god don't be silent on us as an individual as a family and as a nation the mighty name of jesus and let's pray let us ask god not to be silent on us as a church oh god as a church don't be silent on us in our ccg oh god don't be silent on us in the name of jesus in this fire conference don't be silent on us in the mighty name of jesus answer us as we pray in the name of jesus now let us pray prayer number five asking god not to be silent on us in times of need oh god don't be silent on us in times of need in the name of jesus anytime we are in need of anything either physical or spiritually and we call on you oh god don't ever be silent on us in the name of jesus prayer number six let us ask god not to be silent on us in the battles of life oh god don't be silent on us in the battles of life in the name of jesus and when we call you in the battles of life respond and answer us promptly in the name of jesus 
Prayer number seven. Let us ask God not to be silent on us, but to put a conclusive end to emergence of pandemic in every nation of the world. Oh God, don't be silent on us. And then, please, help us to put a conclusive end at the margins of pandemic in the every nation of the world. In this time of God, of pandemic in every nation of the world, don't be silent on us in the name of Jesus. Don't be silent on us in the name of Jesus. Now, let us pray for our parents in the Lord. Let's pray for daddy and mommy at the boy that the Almighty God will continue to strengthen them and renew their power in the name of Jesus. That any time they call on God, it will never be silent on them in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for that in the Lord, our intercontinental prayer continue to pass Ade Wale and his family and every leader in this national prayer department that God will never be silent on us in the name of Jesus. Don't be silent on us in this national prayer department, even starting from our leader, Pastor Olawale, and every leader in this department in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, let us thank God for the answer prayer. Father, we want to bless your name. We thank you, God, for the answer prayer. Thank you, Almighty Father, for the answer prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. And so, Father, we want to bless your name for this special session. Oh, God, don't be silent on us. As we pray unto you today, answer all these prayer requests in the mighty name of Jesus. And let your name be glorified. Continue with us in this program in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, I decree. Amen and amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah.